As an earth science teacher, I am very lucky and fortunate to A, love my job, have a passion for teaching about this subject. And this is one of those lessons where you just can't wait to teach and explain and show things to the students with these amazing minerals. So I put these minerals out on the lab tables and the students can come and grab a mineral. They can interact, they can touch, they can feel, they can see the different luster and different chemical composition with the colors and the impurities. And they really get a sense of what a mineral is. And year after year, I keep adding more and more minerals to this kind of small collection, but it's a different or large variety of different minerals, including silicates, carbonates, halides, oxides, and the students can learn about both geochemistry and geophysics in terms of how these minerals are composed, how they're formed in the crust with the collection and mixture of different minerals with a base of perhaps silicon and oxygen. And this lesson is going to form the basis for geology and the next two to three months in this classroom whereby we go from minerals to obviously rocks and petrology, sedimentology, metamorphism, the rock cycle, Earth's interior, and earthquakes and volcanoes. And all of this derives and starts with these beautiful, awesome minerals and the understanding of the Earth's crust and what's happening inside. There's this big chemistry lab of mixing atoms and elements to create these beautiful minerals.